So apparently our second 5 star character for version 2.5 is a Hunkai Impact 3rd character and we are going to talk about it and I would love to hear your opinion about it in the comments section below but before we start don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell beside it to stay notified with everything new about uh, Hunkai Star Rail and Hunkai Impact 3rd and without any further ado let's just get started. So as you can see here we have our second 5 star character for version 2.5 her name is Linksha and she is going to be a fire abundance character now getting abundance character for every single element is great and her design is absolute perfection now why am I saying that she is going to be a Honkai impact third character well first of all look at the design look at her even her eyes they are red eyes right now look at this <laughs> she is literally a copy paste with a little bit better outfit otherwise even the color palette is actually the exact same it's just white and black white and black and the exact same outfit but just a little bit better to fit her as an adult right now i guess she is a little bit older now or at least in body size <laughs> You never know when in Honkai Impact 3rd you have a character that is basically 60,000 years and they are still in child body. And this is actually one of the things that I hate about both anime and games, but whatever I guess. Anyways, you have here her. Now, her name here is Linksha in English. And her name in Honkai Impact 3rd is Noah. So why am I saying that it is the same character? Well, guess what? We, when we are going to count the characters, we are going to count the character's name in Chinese. Because that is the original um, names for all of the characters. And what is her name in Chinese? Well, it's actually Danju. Danju. And look at how it is written in Chinese. Now, what is... Ling Xia's name in Chinese. Well, it's the exact same. Look at it. Look at how it is pronounced or how it is basically uh, written. And look at this. It's the exact same. It's Danju as well. So apparently, <laughs> apparently, we are getting Nua actually in Honkai Star Rail. Now I don't know why do they always do this where they change the name of the English one and they keep the name of the um, of the basically Chinese one. I think that they did the same. I don't know about the J Japanese one but I think that they did the same with Sparkle as well where they actually changed her name in English but they kept her name the same in basically uh, in uh, chi in Japanese, they kept it Hanabi in ch Japanese and they changed it in English and made it Sparkle. So I really don't know why they do this. It's just confusing and it makes no sense. Like why would one character be called multiple different things in multiple different uh, languages? It's just disappointing and confusing actually. But whatever, whatever. They do what they want to do. Anyways, I absolutely like the design. This design is just perfect. I, I love this outfit and I love the idea of her having basically part of her hands here red and then part of her legs as well as red. Uh, I don't know if she colors them like that or if there is something wrong with her body that made them look like that. But they look really awesome. And then we have these rabbit or basically whatever they are rabbit foxian whatever <laughs> maybe a foxian rabbit demon <laughs> around her and i really like how cute they look as well so let's read her description i am a videohara oh my god i am a videohara Th this doesn't look like a videohara at all like not at all what the hell what the hell is this? Oh my god. Born and raised on the Law Fu. And I once studied the healing arts under the name of Danju. Yep, they are saying it here. Danju. 
Okay, okay, but my master became booged down in politics. Oh wow, <laughs> they really know what is happening around the world, huh? And was banished to a place far from home. I followed her there. Now that I have changed my name and come home. Oh, so she changed her name. That's why they are calling her Linksha, huh? Okay, okay, that makes sense. And come home, many complicated feelings have returned. The new Kaul Cauldron, master of the Sienjo Lafu's alchemy commission. Oh, she is the new... She is the new actually master of the alchemy commission, huh? Okay. If you remember, when we were on the Sinjo Lafu, many problems happened on the Alchemy Commission and uh, we had basically to kill multiple people there because they were infected by the abundance. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> they, they were basically Mara struck and we had to kill them, so maybe that's why we have a new master now for the Alchemy Commission. An intelligent and quick-witted Vidyahara healer. Apparently all of the Vidyahara are going to be healers except for Imbibitor Lune which makes sense because he is the leader and he is supposed to be a protector of the Vidyahara. So I guess it is what it is. She has a sharp sense of smell and often uses this to di diagnose illnesses. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> she smells your illness, okay? I mean that would be very useful for maybe some doctors in real life as well <laughs> As well as utilizing incenses Incense to calm the minds of others. All right. All right. She is a adept at dealing with complicated social relationships though she might be fuming inside her expression would remain calm and serene okay that is very important to anyone who is going to be basically interested in being a politician <laughs> maybe she is going to move on her master's steps actually that is just absolutely phenomenal description and backstory i can't wait to see her in the game her design looks absolutely gorgeous and I hope that her animations are going to look as gorgeous as well. Now, I wonder if uh, Welt meet her, is he going to have any flashbacks? Because I think, I don't know, I am not actually 100% sure because they are usually around, Noah and her sister are usually around the... Um, Fuhua, they aren't around actually the main cast as much. So I don't know if Welt actually met them in the story. So maybe we might not see any interaction between them that makes it basically look like it is a Honkai Impact 3rd thing. But I don't think that the developers are going actually to pass on that. I think that they are going to give us something that has to do with it. Maybe not as uh, as extended as they did with uh, Acheron, because Acheron was an extremely important Honkai Impact 3rd character. So that's why they gave her her time and they extended it so much. Uh, but they might give us maybe a hint there, a hint there and some maybe some quotes or something like that that could hint about her being from Honkai Impact 3rd but I don't think that they are going to go as hard on it as they did with Acheron. Anyways with that being said that was everything for today don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell beside it to stay notified with everything new about Honkai Star Rail and until next time see you as always in the next video.